Here is the TPI F24TE high velocity phi in and we're going to revisit this today because I want to test this in a larger space. It recently came to my attention that there exists two variations of this model. This one and then now there's a second one which is model F24TEHV and that HV model specification wise is supposed to be about twice as powerful as this one. Now, I don't know when that came out if that was something that's always existed or it came out more recently but uh, it costs about $250 which I cannot rationalize but I'm very intrigued by it so instead of spending the $250 I'll spend about $80 and replace the motor or attempt to replace the motor there is a production of this experiment which already exists which was recently uploaded by another user, I forget who it was, I will post that a link to that video in the box so that you can take a look at that video as well. But that's what we're going to try to replicate with this VN. Now before we do that, I want to test it out again just to get a feel for its performance because testing VNs in the confined, cluttered old studio as opposed to a large open room like this does make a huge difference on how the units perform. I recall when I was first testing this when I first got it that it seemed a bit underpowered. Although it was powerful it didn't seem like it was as strong as it should be. This one is a 1650 RPM motor, 1 eighth horsepower, 1.5 amps, which is kind of pathetic because the 18 inch model F18 TE is an exceptional VN. And I actually would go as far as to say it is on par with the old Patton VNs. So, why this one? is so underpowered is beyond me. The 18 inch model I believe is rated at 2.2 amps which doesn't make any sense. A bigger blade should take a lot more power. I also recall when I first got this trying to ramp up the blade pitch a bit but that those attempts were not successful. The blade pitch on this is very shallow which sometimes is the case with these larger models but it results in a very high speed blade 1650 RPM for a 24 inch blade is very high speed and consequently the thing is very loud so I think what would make more sense is to go with like maybe a 1050 RPM motor and double or triple the speed and use a quarter or even a third horsepower motor and that's probably the way it should have been in the first place so let's go ahead and start this thing up and let's see how it works I do have the kilowatts meter set up we're looking at 118 volts start up on low And 
and uh, it works good here. It does seem like the blade is just whipping around absurdly fast for the airflow, but it is pushing out some good air. But if memory serves correctly, it doesn't get much stronger than this on the higher speeds. It's moving a lot of air, but it's not like, wow, this is impressive by any means. It doesn't have anywhere near the force of the, um, the balance is so good. It doesn't have anywhere near the amount of force as the uh, 18-inch model does. It's moving a large volume of air, but it is it is very unimpressive. And it's very loud for the amount of air being moved. It's not horrible by any means, but it does seem a bit underpowered, especially in relation to the 18-inch model and the 12-inch model. So, we're going to replace the motor, and we're going to see if we can increase the pitch on the blade and make this work really well. <laughs> 